All right, it's time for K7 on IXL. K7 on IXL. All right, and that is graphing solutions to one-step linear inequalities. How to graph a solution to a one-step linear inequality. Remember, an inequality means a whole bunch of numbers. So an equal, an equality would be one number. One plus one equals two. It's only two. It's not 2.5. It's not 1.9. It's not 2.55. It's two. One plus one equals two. But an inequality could be, you know, x is greater than five. So it could be 5.1 could be 6, 7, 8, 15 billion, you know, so at inequality has a lot of numbers and equality has one. Yeah. All right. So we're going to graph solutions to one step linear inequalities. Always start by learning by example, but this time I think I'll just shoot, <laughs> start with this one. So that says 4A is greater than 8. 4a is greater than 8. So let's do this. Let's write it out so we can solve the problem. 4a 8. All right, so 4a is greater than, I don't like the way that looks. Uh, let me clear that. Let's try it again. Oops. <laughs> All right. So <clears throat> what we're going to do here is 4A is actually 4 times A. It's actually 4 times A. And so what we want to do is make sure that we have the A by itself. We want the A by itself. So we're going to divide 4A and 8 by four, all right? Now, that's going to give us, and I'm gonna take the answer right over here, all right? So that's gonna leave us with A is greater than, and eight divided by four would be two. You know, if we have a calculator, handy dandy calculator, eight divided by four, equals two. So now we have A is greater than two, which means that A can't be two because it's greater than two. It could be 2.5, could be three, could be five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. You get it, you know. So A has to be greater than two. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is graphing it, we're going to go to two. There's two. And then we're going to graph saying that it's greater than two. All these things greater, oops, let me start over. All right, so, can I go any further? All right, so, I wanna do it just make sure I get it right. Okay, so I have an open hole. Why do I have an open hole? Because I have a greater than sign. If I had a greater than or equal to sign, I would have a dark hole. Keep it up. That was great. Okay, so let's do the same thing with this problem. All right, the directions are solve the inequality. This is the inequality because it has a greater than or equal to sign and graph the solution and graph the solution. So we're gonna graph the solution, solve the problem, and then we're going to graph the solution. So I'm going to type it right here just so I have some room to work with, 5w. And 5w is actually five times w. That's actually five times w, okay? Is greater than or equal to 10. Now, here's something that I want us to remember, right? 
I might just leave it here. Okay, so when we have less than or less than or equal to or greater than, okay, when we have greater than or less than, we're going to use an open circle, okay? But if we have a less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, then we're going to have a dark circle. You see, so that's the difference. So let's go back to our equation. We wanted to divide by five on both sides. So five on both sides. Now, five into five is one. So they kind of cross each other out. All right, so that leaves us with W is greater than or equal to, and five goes into 10, or 10 divided by five is two. 10 divided by five is two. So now we have W is greater than or equal to the two. <clears throat> now, we're gonna go to the number two, and we're going to go with the dark closed full circle. We're gonna go with the filled in circle, all right? So when we click it once, it gives us the filled in circle and W is greater than two. So everything greater than two is what we're gonna choose, okay? Great job. All right, so this one should be really easy for you to do. This one should be super easy for you to do, so do well.